Hi everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about the 2D King of Fighters games on the GBA. The King of Fighters EX Neo Blood has a new story that takes place between the Orochi chapter and the Nest chapter. It has 27 characters and that's a really good number for a GBA. I mean Street Fighter has 37 and is regarded as a technical marvel on the GBA. The game also has 2 bosses and 10 strikers. Strikers are assist characters that you can use during a fight when you need to deal some quick damage to your opponent, so they have some strategic value. As game modes you get team, single, survival and practice, and you can also challenge a friend with link cable multiplayer. The controls are ok, but don't expect them to be like on Neo Geo. It's a GBA, it has less buttons, tinier buttons and thus the gameplay won't feel just as good. Still the controls on the GBA are good and they make up for a solid gameplay. You can pull off nice combos, you can call your strikers, also awesome feeling are the counter and armor bombs, which activate super special moves and special moves. The game is a must buy for any fighting game fan. King of Fighters EX2 Howling Blood is another great entry on the GBA. The difference between Neo Blood and Howling Blood is that in Howling Blood the fights are in teams of 3. You select 3 characters for your team and fight, while fighting you have the other two characters in reserve. The first team that has all three members defeated loses. And in gameplay the controls are also more responsive. Hit detection is better, sprites look better, the audio is much better and the levels look much better too. There are three new characters in the game, but fewer characters to choose from. EX2 has only 21 characters. The story in EX2 is as sloppy as in the first one, but it's ok, I mean it's a fighting game and the most important part is the fighting, which is solid in this case. Most fighting games back then had filler stories, just to check a box that the game has a story. And in game modes you get fewer stuff, and I don't understand why. So if you ever see one of these two games, just know that they are great games, that if you're a fighting game fan and a GBA game collector, are worth buying. They are solid, sure they might feel clunky if you switch from a big console like the Neo Geo to the handheld, but that still doesn't hinder the fact that they are solid fighting games, that can offer many hours of replay value. 